Welcome to Promptitude.io, the easiest and fastest way to integrate GPT into your apps and internal workflows. In this video, I'll show you how to get started and to create your first prompt and even integrate that into your first workflow or app. So once you're on Promptitude.io, you probably have already signed up clicking this big Try It Now button, which gives you a completely free account to use. After you've done that, you will have landed at Promptitude's dashboard. Once you do that, you might be prompted to verify your email. Please do so, so we can actually offer you the generation features. The first step is to create your AI connection. Promptitude will manage your prompts, but will use an external AI provider like OpenAI to actually do the generations. So just click the AI connections button Create a new connection. If you start out, we recommend using OpenAI. Just name it OpenAI or however you want and paste your OpenAI API key. You might have already created one, saved it, then use that or head over to platform.openai.com and in the user menu at the top right, click view API keys. Important. Don't just copy this abbreviated key. That's not your complete key. If you haven't saved that one, no problem at all. Just click create new secret key and you will get a completely new key, which you can now copy and then head back to Promptitude and just paste that API key here and click save. And that's it. Now you are connected to OpenAI and can actually start generating prompts. Step number two is to create your first prompt. That's step number two. So we, after you sign up, you probably already find this joke generator that we got in there. Like a very simple prompt, a joke about profession. And here you already see the first and big difference that Promptitude offers you. Your prompts become interactive because here, instead of just saying a joke about developers, it's an input variable profession that was defined over here in the input tab. And this variable of type string can be tested with the example value of startup marketer. So now when we click the generate button, we actually shoot that prompt over to uh, OpenAI in this case, but we replace the input variable with the example of startup marketer. And here's our startup marketer joke. So that's the gist of it. Now let's create your first actual prompt. Back on the prompts menu, just click new prompt and give it a name, suggest email subject lines, and you can nicely order and organize all your prompts by uh, applying tags. In this case, I'm gonna use the email tag or creating a new tag by clicking here. Save your prompt, and now you've got a blank canvas. To make things faster, I've created this rather simple prompt. Uh, you're a professional copywriter following online marketing best practices. Your task is to write 10 different subject lines for an email, taking into account the following context of the email. And this is like the, the magical part of the prompt. So we want these subject lines to be tailored to certain recipients, and this, uh, in this case, startup founders, and to a specific topic, email marketing services. So now when I click generate result, Again, we're gonna shoot that prompt over to OpenAI and it's gonna create this, these 10 subject lines. So it works, very nice. But now comes what makes Promptitude special. First of all, that result, we're creating a list, right? So Promptitude will automatically transform the output in the form you need. So instead of a simple string, we can now say, hey, this thing creates a list. So we would like the result as an array or if you do data extraction or, or create several data points, you could turn it into a JSON file. So in this case, it's an array. So when we create again, we see that now we actually get a properly formatted array that we can use directly or that you can use directly in your app or workflows. And then here, we need to make your prompt interactive, right? So it's not always startup founders being the recipients, it's what your final end users are gonna type in, right? So I'm gonna remove that and now we'll create an input variable format. So just click add input variable. Let's name it recipients. Keep it a string 
And for testing purposes, we we'll use the example value of startup founders. Nice. Now, by clicking this icon, we can copy the name of the variable and now paste it here on the left. And that's it. Now we've made the prompt interactive. I do the same thing with the topic. So let's create another input variable, name it topic and give it that example value too. Copy the variable, replace it and we are done. So uh, now the prompt is interactive and whatever you'll supply in these input variables will be put into the prompt and then be executed. Now let's put this actually to work. So let's save the prompt. And how do you do that? Like putting it into your internal workflows, like using Zapier or, or Make, or maybe even putting it into your SaaS app, integrating it into your WordPress site or your mobile app. Well, just head over to the code tab. Promptitude gives you a very simple API to now execute these prompts. And if you scroll here, that's the part where you execute the prompt. This is the Promptitude API key that we've already created for you. And that's it. It's as simple as defining this small body consisting of your personal uh, Promptitude API key, supplying the end user ID, which is a unique ID of the final user, which OpenAI requires. And then you just tell Promptitude which of your prompts to execute. That's the prompt ID here. And this prompt ID stands for the prompt you just defined, such as email subject lines. And finally, we just need to tell it which inputs to use for that prompt, meaning to which recipients and to about which topic these subject lines should be. And of course, instead of these example values here, once you copy and paste that code into your own app, you would replace these and feed in the actual inputs of your end users here, right? That's all. And then it's a simple post request to the Promptitude API. So how does this look like in real life? Well, let me show you using Postman. I've prepared the call here. As I said, it's a simple post to the Promptitude API endpoint, which you can see here. That's the API endpoint, or you can see it up here as well. It's a post to that endpoint. And then I just copied and pasted, or I copy and paste the body here. So let's do that, paste it down here in the body section of that request. There we go. And there we go. Important, uh, the body should be raw. And to make it easier for you, you can cho choose JSON here for the tests. Okay, so let's shoot that request over to Promptitude's API, which will now again put these values here into your prompt. And down here, we see the result. See, and the result is in the form of an array as we had specified as the result type. So you can perfectly use that inside your app, ready to go. And of course, inside your app, you, as I said, would of course here make these interactive and put what the end user puts in. That's how you get started. Um, of course, like there's additional things like you can store end user ratings. If back on your uh, prompt, we go to the code tab again, scroll down, this is when it really gets interesting. So after you generate something for the end user, you can offer like three stars to have your end user rate the generation. So you can learn which prompts perform well and which don't, so you can improve them. So here, that's the rating endpoint, very simple endpoint. And the trick is that once you execute a generation, the result not only consists of the actual result you generate, but also comes with a log ID, the ID of that specific generation. So later on, when you offer these like three star rating buttons or maybe a thumbs up, thumbs down icon, just call this rate endpoint using the log ID of the prior generation and rating it from zero to three stars. In this case, let's say it's three stars. And of course, I need to use that very log ID we got from the generation we just did. So just copy paste this over here and let's save this three star rating and that's it message okay so now when we go back to promptitude you got this logs tab and these are all the generations your end users will have done using your prompt so you can perfectly debug and learn what's happening and you see this last generation was actually rated three stars and by clicking on it 
you can see all the details. So which were the input variables that your end users actually put into the form? What was the prompt and the model parameters used? And what was the result that was actually generated? And again, you see promptitude supplies you with a perfectly formatted result, in this case, an array of strings that you can directly use inside your app. Versus the raw results we get back from OpenAI, you see, is quite chaotic. So you don't have to do that yourself. And that's it. This is where you manage all your prompts, where you nicely organize them with tags, where you can always improve them, check the logs, improve them, pull the code to integrate them into your workflows. That's the gist. If you have any more questions, please feel free to book a demo, which you can do right from Promptitude's dashboard here with this schedule a free demo button, which takes you to the scheduling page. So just pick a day and time that works and happy to look at your use case and get you set up. So have fun playing with Promptitude and see you soon. Bye-bye.